Byron Love Blog. You know, I was behind bars, so I know something about having bars. Been doing it down through the years before most of y'all talk about making this here your career. So check this out, man. Uh, just gonna do one. <clears throat> Fuck what you talking about if you don't like it. Fuck you in an infested dick and no condom dick. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> there we go. Look. All right, I had to get that out. Look, it's still some motherfuckers left in the game Balling dookie in their mouth, spit nothing but the flames Of hot shit, I be one and the same And then, you motherfuckers out there are the lamest men Your next of kin is who you gotta contact For trying to fuck with me, cause this is combat I'm DTR down to rock up in this motherfucker I go hard and drop the cock off in that motherfucker I got your gals like, damn, <clears throat> trying to throw up her But she can't, because my dick and snuck her And stuck her esophagus And now she can't cough no more Like, <clears throat> <clears throat> shit all on the flow but you know you know it's off the top of the head and you know it's just some shit that you might have read if i would have wrote it so you can quote it or do whatever the fuck you want to do when you snorted that powder and it went straight to your head were you mad were you afraid were you scared i don't know because you be playing with your nose most of you boys on some undercover whole shit but hold up, hold my dick And try to put some fucking tip in between your lips Since you own it and shit Hob, schnabel, I'm just saying whatever Cause weevils when they wobble They don't even fall down Did you know that? Motherfucker, I came through and I'm gonna show that Byron Love Love ain't all about the tits and ass Even though he really do like them tits and ass He be rapping and shit Cause he's an icon You motherfuckers, y'all never gonna be one You can't ascribe or attain my status So fuck all you hoes <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Mixtape Show We are live on location here in uh, Dallas We'll just say Dallas I got the homie himself, Mr. Byron Love Love in the building, Byron man Love Love, What's yeah. good, my brother, what's I'm good? Here. I'm here, man Breathing and shit. There we go, man. So we first met at uh, Christmas in July, man, and you kind of introduced me to the Byron Love Love movie, man. So for those who may have missed that interview, let's go ahead and recap that. What's who is Byron Love Love, man? Hey, man. Uh, Byron Love Love, as they know, you know they've tagged me. They they were saying I'm the new wave uh, Uncle Luke, you know Luke Campbell, Two Live Crew or whatever. And and, and I'll take that because. Uh, since him, there hasn't been anything like him. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of clone, knockoff, watered down type of stuff that you can tell is derivative from Luke and the Two Live Crew movement, but it's not as authentic. And, and I'm there with it because I believe in, you know, having sex. So you say, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I believe in that. And, and, and women having fat booty tissue and it look right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not just fat. For the sake of being fat yeah. Damn that You're gonna die soon Diabetes is real Yeah What I'm saying is Women with fat asses And uh, nice titties Titties ain't that important I'm gonna say that again To the women out there Who feeling some kind of way Because you ain't got big titties They not that important To a real brother To the black man Titties ain't that important uh, We like your booty Now if your booty is clean And it look good That you that's eighty percent of the struggle already taken care of. You good, right? taken care, of, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so with that, you know that that is like uh, some of the uh, DNA of the music and whatnot that I got out here because uh, I have a strong love for black women, but I have a strong love for their anatomy as well. There you go. And uh, I don't necessarily separate the two. And people will say, "Well, you are objectifying women." <clears throat> You objectifying women, I'm sexualizing them. And I, hey, 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 listen, listen. Every year, these people come out with a magazine and tell you who the sexiest woman in the world is, mm -hmm. or the sexiest man in the world. Mm -hmm. And they not black. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, what are they doing with those women? Are they sexualizing and objectifying them? They had a show called Baywatch with scantily clad white women running up and down with a couple of token black women. <laughs> And they were considered hot and sexy. Are yeah. they sexualized or objectified? Yes, you know they what are. I'm saying? Yeah. Why is it when we get black women shaking their ass vigorously, all of a sudden it's aggressive and it's a problem, they objectified? I'm never calling black women bitches and hoes. When you listen to my music, you don't hear that. Yeah. You hear me talking about how fat their ass is and how I want to fuck. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> exactly. There ain't got to be no bitch for me to want to fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? They sexy. I like them. I fucking love them. <laughs> now, uh, my disclaimer. Everybody that I call a bitch is a real bitch. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? That ain't, I'm not finna just generalize. You calling the spade a spade, basically. Exactly. <laughs> It's not like all black women. I fuck all that. I got sisters, you know, yeah. all that. I'm not going to say all black women. Well, my bitches, my whole fuck all that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Black woman. Because every one of them ain't no queen either. So you ain't my queen just because you black. If you uh, got into the position of being queen like, then yeah, you a queen. There and you I go. respect that on some uh, Francis, Dr. Francis Wilson type stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shahrazad Ali. You know, I mean, sisters who know some. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I respect the intellect just as much as I respect a perky breast. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. all good, yeah. you know? and, and with that, it's a balance. So I'm, I'm the music I'm giving you on the front end is real sexual yeah. because I'm on that agenda. But when you get into it, you're gonna hear some of this intellectual stuff coming out as well. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So let me ask you this, man. What you um, and I, I get your vibe. What you're saying is um, you're not you're not you're not down down in the black woman. Yeah, you know you you praising them, but do you get that view? Where people think you're for, for visuals. I know people probably see your videos and they're thinking, oh, you just you know, uh, you know what I mean. You get that feel from, they, from they a lot of people. They probably do because the majority of people these days are not focused where the fuck nowhere. <laughs> yeah. they, they don't know what they are going on. It's an ADD world right yeah, now. It, and it really is. Yeah, and, and, and people don't know. They don't know shit. Yeah. They don't know the ass from holding the ground. Yeah, my thing is with. You have somebody on, on social media, they'll post a quote from Farrakhan, yeah. and then you go down the uh, timeline, they got Kevin Gates. And I'm like, this dude ain't no intellectual. Why y'all quoting him like he said some hell of a shit? Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly. They got a picture with Kevin Gates with a damn poofy on saying, oh, uh, yeah, you solid, keep it 100, don't, don't be waiting on hate. Man, fuck that. This is a dude that just says some old dumb shit about Google Kevin Gates black racism and listen to all the dumb shit this dude said yeah and that's not to talk down on kevin gates that's to say he don't know most yeah. of the people nowadays they don't know shit uh -huh. and the people who do know something we castigate them and say oh they on that woke shit they yeah. on that black shit and we act like that's a problem mm -hmm. me i'm on that woke shit but guess what you don't know it because you think i'm just a freak nasty motherfucker that's yeah. how i get you yeah you actually dropped a single a couple years ago yeah just sent that to me appreciate you sending that yeah. to me too man what well, yeah. that uh uh black state of the black union man, man and i mean that joint right there man my wife was even listening she was like i like this yeah, i like that. this yeah that's that's a that's a track right there so y'all yeah. definitely need to check that out man so what's going on now so as a, as an artist how important is it for you to balance the, you know, the the fun sexuality, you know, celebrating the black woman's body in, in a nice way, and then throwing in some some knowledge in there once in a while? Yeah, it's a struggle, and I think the the person in history who did that the greatest was Tupac, because dude was a walking contradiction. You know what I'm saying? Because you heard him saying, you know. Uh, <laughs> in this white man's world, yeah. you need to cut that off. How do you want it coming up? A nigga get up. Like, what the fuck? This dude was a walking contradiction. Yeah. But that was him. Yeah. He was multifaceted, yeah. and people had to accept that. And that's what I'm doing because I know if I come through the door with the knowledge base, I'm gonna get all the people saying hotel and ashe and all that. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna close the fact that I'm a freak too. Yeah. And because as soon as I start doing something freaky, this community gonna talk down. Yeah. Oh, brother, how you uplifting our people? And you over there talking about sticking your finger in a woman's ass. Because I want to stick my finger in that woman's ass. What the hell are you talking about? I ain't got to an answer to you, brother. You know my, what I'm my saying? Brother. Yeah, fuck all that. Holier than thou bullshit. Yeah. My thing is this. Because, you know, I was a Muslim for a lot of years. Mm -hmm. And I went through that. You know, where we had. Because I was locked up mm -hmm. when I was a Muslim. And no, I didn't. didn't I wasn't no jailhouse ass Muslim. I say you didn't convert. Why you yeah. were locked up? Okay. Yeah. What happened was. I was a Muslim in the world, but then I fell back from it. Okay. Then I got locked up. Okay. Then while I was locked up, I read the Bible like we do. <laughs> and I remember, I said, you know what? This ain't my shit. Yeah. And I wound up being a Muslim for a lot of years. And I had to struggle with masturbation and being a Muslim. You know what I'm saying? Because you, I'm in this motherfucker for years. Yeah. And you got people saying, you can't play with, man, fuck you. <laughs> I got to jack off, man. <laughs> Ain't no, I can't have sex with nothing. Yeah. I mean, there are options. I don't want none of them no, options. Yo, no, no, no. I want those, don't want those problems. <laughs> I don't want them boys. <laughs> fuck that. I mean, I got this here Dollar Tree lotion. I'm finna touch it. Fuck mm -hmm. what you talking about? <laughs> and that was a real issue. We had debates in there. Mm -hmm. And I had to get into the Bible. And uh, I think dude name was Onan. Mm -hmm. it's, in, it's in the early chapters in Genesis. I 
want to say Genesis 38. Don't quote me on that. But Google Onan, O E N A N, mm -hmm. in the Bible, where he skeeted. He jacked off. <laughs> and people say, how you find this perverse shit? I didn't write the Bible, motherfucker. Yeah. But uh, it was three sons, and his daddy promised this chick his son's hand in marriage. And when they came of age, for whatever reason, he reneged on the deal with all his sons. Uh -huh. And then with that last son, he was supposed to go and get it in. And he went in there to knock her down and go and get her pregnant. And at the end, he pulled out, jacked it off, skeeted on the floor, and he died. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know why the fuck he died, <laughs> but he died. You know what I'm saying? Cause, and that's where they got the statement that said, I'd rather spill my seed on the ground than to put it in the belly of a whore. Mm. That was real shit. That's in the Bible. So we had to argue about that. Yeah. Uh, it was appropriate for me to touch myself because I had years to do down there in that penitentiary. So my thing is, as far as keeping that balance, it's hard because uh, on the one hand, sex then got so out of control because this gay stuff is standard mm. now. Mm -hmm. And everybody is with it. They got to accept it. And if you don't, they make you apologize. I'm not one of them. Mm -hmm. Fuck that. Fuck your gay agenda. Fuck what you talking about. I'm heterosexual. I'm proud of that. We don't need no motherfucking parade and marching and all that old bullshit. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. Fuck what you talking about. Because what you do in your bedroom is what the fuck you do in your goddamn bedroom. Mm -hmm. I'm not out here with no floats and shit of threesomes or no floats and shit of uh, women sucking dick and, and we having a parade down the motherfucking street. Yeah. The straight black pride we, we straight We black And we proud That's it yeah. And if you gay Fuck what you're talking about That's why I go so hard With the sexualized visuals And whatnot. People say Oh he freaky Yes you need to know that Because we can fix freak mm -hmm. We can't fix that gay shit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, <laughs> So with that If we're talking about that As far as uh, your outlook on that Is it more of the agenda being pushed Or is it more of the people's lifestyle Like And I don't, I don't mean like you disagree with their lifestyle. Either you do, you don't. But like, is it more of like corporate America it's an really agenda. pushing that? Okay, it's an agenda. Yeah. Cause, uh, back when we were growing up, everybody knew the one or two gay people that mm -hmm. lived in the area. Mm -hmm. You knew them by their name. Gay was part of their name. That's Gay Greg. Yeah. Or that that that's a uh, Dyke Sean. You knew them by their name. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Now everybody is is just what the fuck are they eating yeah, yeah. there's a lot of soy in these products <laughs> and soy does increase estrogen in the males that's just i mean that's a side note that's uh -huh. contributing to that gay <laughs> shit but uh there's a real agenda that was started by heterosexual white men mm -hmm. because if you when when you wage war against a group of people what do you kill you kill the soldiers. What are the soldiers of a group of people? The men. Mm -hmm. Okay. What group of men are the dying and just being fucked off in drastic proportion, disproportionate numbers? Black men. Black man. You know what I'm saying? Can you remove the black man from the whole system with the black woman, the black man, and the black child? All you got is the black woman uh -huh. and these half-raised ass black kids and you got straight disarray. These bitches winning that war. Mm -hmm. We too stupid because we don't recognize that it's a real war. Because mm -hmm. you got gay black people who would rather claim gay than to claim black. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's that bullshit. I can, I can go on and get All a documentary that. on that, but <laughs> fuck it, it's an agenda. It's an agenda. I hear you, man. So let's talk about this new project, man, because I can't wait to hear what this album going to sound like. What's the name of that new album, man? <laughs> Free Calm. All right. Yeah, Free Calm. <laughs> Free Calm. I mean, it's one of three, because uh, I've been doing this music for a good minute, man. Uh -huh. uh, I'm an entertainer, and my whole thing is... I have other kind of music that I want to do, but I I, I don't want to do it while I'm doing this kind of music. Gotcha. Because uh, I got my eyes on some different genres and whatnot. I don't want to do like Lil Wayne when he was singing and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> whatever that shit. Fuck <laughs> that. Let me do this rap shit first. Uh -huh. Let it run its course. Then I'm going to get over there. So yeah. I got three staggered releases. And we got Precom first. And uh, following Precom, you got Put Just the Tip In. <laughs> put Just the Tip In. And then following that, you got, uh, man, I got the last, what's my last, my, my last one? Uh, God damn it. Oh, Porn and Then Listen. Porn and Then Listen. Porn and Then Listen. <laughs> Sounds a lot like Born Again Christian, uh -huh. but it's Porn and Then Listen. <laughs> yeah, because uh, what we doing, Precom is, you know, is getting ready. Mm -hmm. you know, then you will put Just the Tip In and mm -hmm. then we all at Porn. So listen, you know, uh, and what I'm doing with Precom is... Uh, I'm easy. <laughs> I'm using all these analogies unintentional, yeah. but I'm easy in, right? And uh, I'm, I'm I'm getting people ready for experiencing what's to come on those other two albums. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Like we got a lot of sexual stuff on here. We got uh, 
love your body with Moet Ryder. She's from Atlanta. Well, she's from Oakland, but she live in Atlanta. Uh -huh. And she, if you Google the 56 inch dunk, she'll come up. She got this real huge booty and stuff. Used to be on World Star Hip Hop or whatever. And she, look at the video. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was all right, yeah. right there. <laughs> oh, then we got uh, what's this? Elevator, which is gonna be the next single. Mm -hmm. Uh, we got Quint Black on there. Get right. Uh, this one song that. I expect to be, it's a couple of them that I think might kick off a little controversy. That wasn't the intent, but mm -hmm. uh, I'm not biting my tongue. There you go. It's one called Just Wanna, which is basically a plea from a, a non-custodial parent to the baby mama saying, I just want to see my child. Gotcha. And she won't want, she don't want to let him see him. And I ain't going to tell you how it ends. Mm -hmm. You have to get that. Okay. It turns into a different situation. Uh, but then we got uh, Facts, man. That's one of my woke songs. Yeah. I'm not apologizing. To yeah, it. yeah. Sean on the beat did that track. Facts. Hey, man. I'm talking about a lot of shit. I'm talking about Abraham Lincoln, Christianity, uh, the gay agenda. I'm talking about a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. And basically, I'm saying these are facts. Don't argue with me. Argue with the facts. Mm -hmm. You will lose. You can't beat facts. You can't beat you the know? facts. I'm speaking on some shit on that. There you go. And I'm doing a video. Uh, we didn't shot part of it. I'm trying to get the rest because I'm trying to shoot the video in front of the church. Mm -hmm. And that's a real issue because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me yeah. being a heathen, I got you. nobody want me out in the front of the church <laughs> talking about yeah. Jesus the way I see Jesus and all of that. So. Mm -hmm. Dope, man. So let me ask you this, man. With um, with your, with your platform and your music, man, how difficult is it for you to kind of get in the door and really for the people to really get it? You know what I'm saying? Because obviously they're gonna prejudge you just from, if not the title of the track, you get into the first couple seconds of the the video, or whatever. So, yeah. how, how difficult has that been for you? Well, the issue is more about the state of music in general nowadays. Yeah. They prejudge you off of all kind of insignificant dumb shit. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know him. I ain't never seen him. Didn't nobody co-sign him. Gotcha, yeah, yeah. Uh, he ain't got enough jewelry on. Mm. Where is Grill? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he too old. <laughs> he, uh... He too short. I mean, just <laughs> dumb shit. That ain't got nothing to do with nothing. I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I mean, because... We came through an era when this music was coming together, and it didn't matter what you look like, cause I thought Fetty Wap proved that. Yeah, it didn't matter yeah. <laughs> what you look. <laughs> the fuck you look like? The hell, God damn it! Can you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. You know what I'm saying? But motherfuckers is doing that anyway. Mm. And my thing is, my issue is far as like uh, the little uh, local situation mm -hmm. is uh, more of. Um, uh, who you know type thing. Yeah. And uh, I know a lot of people, but the nepotism don't run the right way when some of the people in power are people that have personal shit against mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple of them because I did a song a little while back, K10 Ho, and that upset <laughs> a lot of people. Yeah. And, and for the for the for the non locals out here, we got a station yeah. out here called uh, K104. Yeah. And I, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. And it was a lot of payola and some more shit happening. And yeah. Yeah. Before the changing of the guard, I was yeah. ag. And yeah. I just went in on everybody. Yeah. Some of those people still around and they still in their feelings or whatever. I'm yeah. like, man, that was a song. But if you really feel that way, you can get out here and we can get to it. Or you can get, if you a woman, you can get your husband out here. I can test this boxing game. Well, yeah, yeah. You know, because uh, I don't care about that shit. Yeah. So, like, the gatekeepers, they, they don't want to let you in. Yeah. That's some bullshit. Yeah. My thing is, monetarily, you know, the artist spends more money than they make. Uh -huh. Trying mm -hmm. to jump off the porch. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And... And that's not always practical for everybody because everybody don't stay a dope. Yeah. So, and and that's why it's such an imbalance because most of the people that's really getting it, they got the money, but they sell dope. Uh -huh. And then the people who really got the talent, like me, we got jobs, man. Mm -hmm. Fuck that. We got to make choices. Like, do I pay for whatever this shit is that's music related or do I pay my rent? Yep. My rent, $1,300. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Do I pay this car note? Do I pay all the utility bills? Do I pay? I got kids. Do I? You know, you gotta worry about that shit. Mm -hmm. but the other cats stay out here. I'm selling dope, and I'm selling dope, and I'm selling dope, and I'm smoking and drinking, and then I go to the studio. Yeah. So yeah. it's different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it yeah. is what it is. As far as me trying to get in the dough, man, I'm gonna just do what I do because I like it. Mm -hmm. To be honest, the majority of my. Uh, 
what I'm trying to gain from this is uh -huh. coming from movies because I do movies and film and okay. shit. So okay. I'm not really tripping too much on the music. I'm doing the music because I owe that to my legacy because I'm a fucking icon. I started that and I've been silent too long. I am an icon. I started this shit. 1982, 1983. That's right. I'm not no motherfucker that's 25 years old. Mm -hmm. I started this shit. Ask anybody who know anybody and it's going to lead back to me. That's real go. shit. There you go, man. So as we continue this legacy, man, in 2019, man, what, what's, what do you want to add to that to that legacy well i got uh people on the roster of montan music i be trying to bring them through here okay yeah definitely give them some shine definitely I definitely got, uh, i'm working with a lot of people man i mean because i'm considering flipping my whole thing into more of a management thing mm -hmm. than just like some label stuff gotcha because i got a comedian i got actresses i got models i got singers yeah, I yeah. Got rappers i'm like you got a roster yeah yeah i got a lot going over here man yeah. so i might need to yeah. change how we do this and go down there and make this some LLC shit and really get to the paper because uh, I got stuff I got a movement you mm -hmm. know but um, people remember a lot of my previous video shit my uh, Oak Cliff Housewives TV show or whatever which was hella phenomenal and uh, my book Pimp Scriptures and uh, there's a movie out now Connect the Thoughts mm -hmm. Google that <laughs> That's uh, that's out there, and uh, we got this new movie that we finishing. And the way I see it, this new movie is gonna change the game for not just me, but the city and the people that's involved in the movie. Mm -hmm. Cause uh, this movie is uh, it's some gangster shit, and uh, I got a lot of the city involved in it. And w once it hit the theater, the soundtrack is a monster. Yeah, you know what I'm definitely, saying? Definitely, definitely, definitely. And, and that soundtrack gonna probably shake things up because people ain't ready for what's coming on that soundtrack yeah and then following that soundtrack should probably be my put put just a tip in um because uh that ought to be ready right around the same time disrespectful ass train yeah <laughs> that bullshit. we out in these streets man corporate conglomerate <laughs> taking everybody money to fund that bullshit. but yeah um byron love love if people google me good enough they might go back to dtr dtr down the rock that was me the motherfucker, I was the, the child back in the 80s mm -hmm. who did this shit. So I'm going to tell you who I predate because everybody on some OG shit. Before me, there was none. It was me and my brothers. And then you had some cats out of Bontem, my boy LB Wicked. They used to call him Lil Big, Devo D, who became Macvo and all of that. And then from them, you got these cats in Oak Cliff. You had a dude named uh, Big Snake, mm -hmm. Casanova Rock and Big Al. And uh, they were called something fresh. They later became Nemesis, and they had this dude that came from California named Ron C. Mm -hmm. While that was happening, me and my brother was doing battle with some cats in West Dallas. They called themselves the Feel of Fresh Crew. Okay. There's a dude named Tracy over there that y'all now know as DOC. You understand me? With Curtis, with the eyes and mm -hmm. all that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We was battling these cats. Motherfuckers was pop locking and doing all this shit. The rockets, the box heads. This is what I'm talking about when I tell you I'm your OG's OG. I'm before all of them. Because you didn't get, get into a cotton mouth until later. And Cotton just said this to me the other day. We was at some shit, uh, some function downtown. Uh, he remember clearly before he went to the radio station, there was me, DTR. Mm. And Cottonmouth is an OG to a lot of you boys because Cottonmouth came before you Gator Man. You understand me? Rally boys coming from Cottonmouth. Mm -hmm. you, then you get Gator Man, who I was in jail with. He was just KP, Kenneth Piper. You understand? Then you get uh, who else became somebody? Big Chief and all them. But then it started going down. Mm -hmm. And everybody say OG this, OG that, mm -hmm. Pookie Lucci. What I'm showing you is that I started this shit. I'm not just bumping. Yeah. And that shit irritates me because motherfuckers try to erase me or marginalize me to a fucking footnote. Fuck you, man. I started this shit. I stand on it. And I'm still colder than all you motherfuckers. You stand at the top of the tree. For real. Stop top of the tree. Responsible. You you uh you son you birthed a lot of these rappers out here. For real. Stiff son, because I stiff on some of these motherfuckers. Then give me my respect. I mean, but I ain't got no beef with none of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's cool, cause beef with me ain't ain't, ain't no good shit to have. Cause yeah. I, I, yeah. Actually, this one motherfucker he ain't no rapper. This a whole ass DJ out here. I ain't gonna speak on it, cause when the shit hit the newspaper, you know, <laughs> I, it's one DJ I'm gonna look at. Yeah. You know? Yeah. People that's close to the situation I already know. Right now. We ain't got to talk about it. There. We ain't got to talk about it. So let me tell you, that's just, man, Byron, if, if you got folks out there who want to get in contact with you, do a little work with you, models, uh, you know, what's the best way to get a hold of you, man? Oh. <laughs> Music, models, all yeah. your, your roster, man. How can we get a hold of you? Well, I got so much shit. Um, <laughs> the easiest shit is to call me. Like, 
214-552-4906. That number everywhere. I'm not hiding my number. That's the one in my pocket. Mm -hmm. Don't answer that shit. If I don't, it ain't like I see a number and don't answer. It might, I might be at work. I yeah. might be digging in somebody's ass. I don't know what. Yeah. If you leave a message, I can holler at you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it ain't gonna do you no good to call and say you didn't you didn't yeah. answer. Motherfucker, yeah. did you leave a message? Yeah. I hate motherfuckers who do that. Yeah. I called you. How did I know? I don't know your fucking number. Your shit ain't saved in there. <laughs> so. Call me. Or the old school, uh, what's that shit? Uh, Byron Love Love at Yahoo. B Y R O N L O V E L U V at Yahoo.com. Uh, that's the main one because I got about 17. And Byron you know, Love Love is on all the social media, right? Yeah, on all the social medias is spelled that way B Y R O N L O V E L U V. Instagram for ladies, and I say that because fellas come over there. You know, you gotta <laughs> come over there cautiously. I might, might be some shit going Tread on. lightly, tread lightly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just peep it before you say, all right, you know, you know, you're subject to see something different. Uh, Facebook is about five or six pages. I'm all of them. Byron Love Love, one, two, three, four. I'm out in. Twitter, Byron Love Love. Go to bontonentertainment.com. That's going to give you a lot of main links to send you wherever you're trying to go. Especially if you want to buy my shit. Go mm -hmm. buy my book. Go buy some of the previously released music. Definitely. Support, uh, support this man. Yeah, Connect the Thoughts, Oak Cliff Housewives, uh, the new sitcom. Because we got a new sitcom that we're working on. And that ought to be, we ought to see that like second quarter okay. 2019. Oh, dope, man. So I'll tell you what, man. Whenever you release this new joint, man, let's get to get back together. Let's do a listening session, man. And we can, uh, yeah. we can chop it up and, and, and dig into that project, man. I can't yeah. wait to hear what you got going on for that. Definitely, because that uh, State of the Black Union, yeah. man, I really kind of, like, it's certain songs that's like that that's on the album. Uh -huh. I kind of want to. I want to present that to some of my woke people. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because I know some of my people that's coming for the freaky shit, they're not going to get that. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. Like, yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm, yeah. I'm talking about us being hung. Yeah. God damn it. That's why when I put my hand up, I don't leave a brother hanging. Because yeah. they left enough of us hanging back then. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, it. Go look at State of the Black Union. That's a it's a it's a dope video, yeah, it's dope a, visual. Yeah, hell of a shit going on yeah, right yeah. there. Yeah, it's real though. Like you said, it's facts. Yeah, yeah with your boy Farrakhan on yeah. there <laughs> and the Manhattans in there. The Manhattans. What's that song? Let's just kiss and say goodbye. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm thinking after I brought that sample in there. Yeah. Shout out to Rob C. Rob C. A. One P. Did that track. We sat there. I was like, man, I want to use this Manhattan. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to use that hit. Dun, 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 mm -hmm. dun. It's dope. Yeah, it's dope, man. Right cool, man. Well, Barbara, I love. I appreciate you spending time with me, man. Right. We're going to definitely do this again, man. As soon as that project comes out, let's do a listening session. Yeah. Cool. Y'all support the mixtape show, man. I've been listening ever since the Christmas in July. Especially when I be at work, because I'm like, damn, because you can't, ain't nothing on the radio. Exactly. Real talk. So you just go find that show on all these different platforms, because it's everywhere. It's everywhere. And listen to it. <laughs> Definitely, man. He's going to be on the TV show real soon. We're going to get this edited up and bring him on there, man. All right. Bro, appreciate you, man. How about we get into that State of the Black Union then? All right. All right. That's what's up. That's right, man. Peace out. Big State Show. We'll be right back. Dope. Dope. Yeah, that's Dope. bad age.